Hey everyone, it's a party out here as well, baby. Party outside the dance hall. Anyone want in on this? I got plenty of beer. I got sausage. If you're if you're beer intolerant, I've got some lactose over here. We got some milk. It's a pizza's. There's no one coming out. What do y'all think you're better than me? Eh? Eh? Do you know who I am? Do you know what I'm capable of? I'm a millionaire. We're like the Jake Paul of Finland. I've got a mansion. I've got several cars. I've got miles and miles of flex tape. Hey. Hey. I'm talking to you. You related to status, D? Eh? You look like a... You... Hey, get your hands off me. Get... Well, your hands. Get your one hand off me. What is the difference between drunk's luck and politician luck? None. Very funny. Where are we going? I don't know. I'm not. I'm. I'm, I'm taking man. I'm married. Okay. We can't be doing this. No. Oh! <laughs> you think you're better than me? So that's how we're doing this, huh? Okay. All right. Hold on. Let me get a little bit of liquid courage right over here. What's that? What is going on with my truck? Is my truck rolling because I'm getting drunk, or is it rolling on its own? Oh, mother of God! I'm so drunk that I'm affecting the world around me. It's not me that's getting drunk. It's the plane of existence. All right, scumbags. Ugh. Just remember, you wanted this. Oh, yeah, we're lined up. Okay. This is what I think of your friggin' party, you scumbags. There you go. Yeah. There she goes. This is what, this is what you get. There it is. Hope you enjoy your freaking 10,000 liters of liquid explosive butt pee that's been collected all across Finland. I'm the king of the world. I'm the drunken king of the world. What a, uh, uh, uh. 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 Oh, oh my God. Where am I? Oh, I'm in the rust bucket. What a night. Woo. That was the hottest Saturday I've ever had in Finland. Did you see that? There was hot, hot babes everywhere and beer and sausage and poop spraying out like a fire hose. It was like, it was like someone smashed a fire hydrant full of fecal material and it went blowing all over the place. It's been a long time since I've driven the Rusco. Don't you need like a, uh, don't you need like a tool in order to turn it on? I don't think we ever got the keys for it. We, we took it from Pigman. Yeah, right over here. We took it from Pigman, but I think we needed a screwdriver to turn the friggin' thing on. Let me, uh, let me go ahead and do a little finish hot wiring over here. There we go. A little bit of that. Now what you gotta do, see, is you gotta take yourself a little screw me driver, right like this one, and you gotta shove it inside the slot, like so. It'll start right up. Now, can you bust the windshield out here? I don't remember if you can or not. Hold on, let me get rid of this crap. I don't know. The windshield doesn't come off. Huh. Now, I was reading the comments about all the... I forgot that this is a handbrake. I was reading the comments about all kinds of stuff. Uh, one person had mentioned that there was a ton of crap inside of the crap tanker. And that's why it was going so sluggishly. I... I... <laughs> I, oh my god, hold on. We're all freaking sideways. This is gonna drive me and everyone else completely crazy. This is usually right now is when you get hit by a driver going a million kilometers. Oh, that's gonna fall out. Um, you know what? The toolbox will be fine. But anyway, when I noticed it, it was, it was too little too late when I finally realized what was happening. So I decided to go ahead and give the party a little thing to remember us by. So now there's, uh, you know, multiple hundreds of pounds of people's butt sausage laying all over the place. Now let's go over here because you guys also said that we can get charcoal so that we can, oh mother of God, I forgot how poorly this thing turns. 
so that we can begin our grilling expedition. In order to grill appropriately, we're going to need... We're gonna need a moose. Uh, I don't really know how to find the moose. From what I understand, it is easier to find the moose, but I don't know how easy, easy to find the moose is. We're gonna find out in a little bit. Did I lose my tools? Yeah, let's go ahead and like, you know, legitimately close this. There we go. Now there's two places to do your grilling, from what I understand. We've got our original house, and that... Are you seriously closed, Tamo? We're doing this today? So, I am just now realizing that uh, Tamo was completely closed on Sunday. You dirty hoe. You're the only store in all of Parayarvi, the one place where the Finnish people can restock their beer and sausages and you're not open seven days a week. How are we supposed to live on Sunday? Now, luckily, I'm pretty sure at some, well, there you go. You can always get plenty of beer laying around. Air, okay, I knew it. I was gonna say, somewhere around here, I'm sure that there's some coffee that I've left laying around from blowing it up over and over again with dynamite. Because the idea here is we're gonna, we've been, we've been up all night partying, drinking beers, getting the crap kicked out of us by, I don't even know who that other guy was. And it's time to make a nice fresh pot of coffee. Now, unfortunately, I can't buy any coal because I wasn't, I didn't buy it. I was a, I was a moron and I missed it in there the last time. There it is. You can't grab it. Unless Tamo's there. But back at the old island cottage, I'm, I'm pretty sure you can't grab it. Yeah, you definitely can't. Oh, yeah. Grill coal, grill charcoal. Little redundant, but it does the job. But back over at our island house, we have a wood burning grill someone had mentioned, and we can use that. Now, someone else said, and I'm a little bit scared, I saw this comment, and it said gray. Oh, what did he say? He's like, you need to go back to drunk man's house because he left you a note and then you have to go to a bridge and you're gonna, s and it's very disturbing. It was something like that. It was like really, like a really ominous statement. So first things first though, we need a cup of coffee in us and then we'll investigate what's going on with drunk man. Now I will say it's a little weird. We had the one party from Drunk Man, but I think that was before the update, and I haven't seen anything since that one party before the update happened. I don't know if Drunk Man's home. I mean, we can go check real quick. Drunk Man! Drunk Man! It's gray. What's going on, man? Hey, you here? Oh, I think the van's here, too. You here, buddy? I'm starting to, I'm starting to get a little worried. Okay, there's his, uh, there's his umbrella and the table. So things are looking okay. Do we still have a key to get inside here? Oh yeah, we could just walk right in. Drunk man, drunk man, you in here? Did you ever put away any of that furniture away that I gave you? Wait a second. All the furniture is gone. Like, did I blow, remember how we dynamited this place? Did I blow it completely out of the house or did he move out? He's not inside the bathroom. I half thought maybe he would be like drunk inside the bathroom or something like that, but no, he's totally gone. He's not here at all. But his table's still here. The table is still here. So that probably means something. Anyway, let's, um, let me grab one of the coffees over here and get on the, uh, get on our boat, head over to the island and brew us up a nice, warm, tall glass mug, I guess, of delicious Finnish black tar coffee. Oh, yeah. And when nighttime rolls around, we're gonna have to go wildebeest hunting, too. And I'm not talking about hunting for the bearded lady over at the dam. I'm talking about... Hunting for the moose, baby. Man, what kind of suspension does this thing have? It feels like I'm on friggin' slinkies or something. Can I turn this off without- I always have to whip out the, uh, the screwdriver in order to do anything. Is it just me or is the water looking a lot clearer? Is this part of the update? I feel like the water's a lot clearer. Like, I, I didn't used to be able to see the bottom of the water. But now I think that we're seeing it really good. Oh, crap! That reminds me. Do we have, like, anything to eat and drink over at the island? I seem to remember stocking up over there. I just don't know if there's still stuff over there or not. I feel like there probably is, but, uh, oh, you know what? We, we have our pike trap. We'll be fine. We, we have the ability to get fish. Hopefully there's some fish in it. I may even have some, like, cooked fish laying around over there. We've partied over there multiple times, so I'm pretty sure there's just beer and sausage and fish laying all over the place like any good Finnish cottage. I'm actually looking forward to see if there's anything new at this cottage, too. Because I knew that the, um, I knew that the ability to grill stuff was gonna be new. But I didn't know if there was any kind of, like, additional renovations or something like that. You never know. Like I always said, man, you never know about this game. There is hidden stuff added all the damn time. So you find half of it, the other half you just kind of stumble upon while you're driving throughout the entire planet. Let me go ahead and, uh, just kind of line myself up right like this. Wait until you see it, man. We're gonna, this is gonna be, this is gonna be slick right here. Right about here, right like that. Just 
Just round peg, round hole, slide it right. Okay, maybe we'll just overshoot it by a couple of feet. It's it's fine. Everything it's fine. Almost thought I lost the freaking coffee. I was like, where'd the coffee go? It was right there. Okay. So, yes, look at this. Hold on. Right over here. Brand new grilling area. We got a chair, which is completely immobile. We got another chair, which is a Okay, so you can't move any of this stuff. But we do have our grilling area. Now, this is the wood fire grill, it looks like. Not the charcoal style. So, let me uh, grab my... I don't know what I'm doing, by the way. I have no idea how to make coffee. I just... I know how to play my summer car. Sort of. So, I imagine, for the most part, that... Okay, there we go. We got ourselves a coffee pan. We got... Oh, you know what else we have? Hold on. Right now, friggin' mosquito spray. I am so tired of these freaking mosquitoes in this freaking game. I'm gonna go for a swim, and I think we have a pike trap around here too somewhere. But just real quick, I'm gonna go get uh, washed off. Man, how dirty was I? I? I mean, I'm not gonna... I don't know everything that happened last night when we were at the party. I'm just hoping that we didn't mistake the back of the uh, crap tanker for like a tap or something like that. We'll probably have sepsis. We would just be dead. You get like, we'll get like every illness all at once. We'd have like hepatitis, salmonella, everything all at the same time. Although, considering what we've been through out here, we've died, I don't know, maybe 50 times. I think someone went through all of my episodes and counted one time. I, I don't have that kind of dedication. But if I had to guess, I probably died right around, I don't know, maybe realistically, we probably died right around like 30 times, I would say, on camera. Off camera, probably triple that. But on camera, right around 30 times. So, I'm not really, I don't think our character's afraid of anything anymore. There's really nothing else that the world can throw at him that he hasn't already dealt with. He's been electrocuted, he's, he's been freaking hit by fireworks, he's been lit on fire, he's been, he's been drowned in a, in a, in a sewage well. He's had his heart explode, he's had his bladder explode. It, it, everything, everything bad that could possibly happen to this young kid, he's had it happen. Oh, you can see like all the, uh, all the ingredients on the back of the thing there when we waved it across our chiclets. Alright, so let us begin. We've got this over here. Oh, I was right by the by. Look at all this! Huh? We got sausage, we got macaroons, we got the pizzas. This is all old stuff too. We don't have any of the new stuff. We actually still have our fireworks bag here, as well as a little lantern and stuff like that. Okay, so here we have the coffee time. Does it say coffee time? But it's C-O-F-E. Coffee time mug. One of you guys sent me finished coffee. You know, I haven't drank it yet. I think today or tomorrow, now, me doing this episode is going to spur me to go and begin drinking that delicious coffee. Speaking of deliciousness, is that a pile of... It is. A pile of pike. Man, I'm kind of... Kind of lasted a long time. I'm somewhat surprised that it's just looming over here still to this day. Now, I could have sworn that we put the pike trap over here. Um, I, I don't see it anymore, though. Oh, I'm so thirsty. We've got beer here, don't we? I'm pretty sure I saw a beer case over here. Oh, thank you, God. Because if we didn't have beer here, we would be screwed. Oh, the thirst meter will creep up on you. Again, I think there's a recycling bin now. But I'm just gonna kind of leave those on the roof for the moment time. We'll, we'll pick them up later. We'll, we'll, we'll get them Crap. Alright, well, we'll just... We'll throw them in this corner over here for now. And then eventually we'll get them recycled. Now what you're gonna do... Is you're gonna take your wood. And you're gonna shove it in like that. Now how many pieces of wood can you fit in there? You fit like two or three... Two or three in there? That's... That's a lot of wood. I'm surprised it can fit that much. Like, I would only thought it would be like one... One log or so. But at this point, we're... Get a whole freaking stack of wood in there. Also in the comments, someone left me a comment, but it was completely, like, I couldn't understand it. It was like, hey, idiot, left. What does that even mean? Left what? You gotta give me more than that. Give me a timestamp. At least the people that were like, you left the poop inside the poop tanker. Like, you know how they were specific? It could also be one of those self-depreciative comments. Remember, we used to get those in the original episodes of My Summer Car. People would be like, gray. I laughed so much. I hope you die, whore. And I'd be like, I don't know whether to feel happy or sad. Everything's happening all at once. So, I like, it, it wasn't even a full sentence, you know? Like, they were just like, this is what I have to tell you. And I was like, okay. I, I wish I knew what the hell you meant. Where you get the water from for this? You just, like, do you just dunk it in the water? Or, like, how does it work? What do you have to do? Alright, open cap. Okay, alright, okay. 
So maybe you gotta like pour this over here. No. All right, this maybe maybe this has to go over into the water. That's gotta be it. Let's try that. How about that? Anything? Yes. See? Look at that. If you if you've done if you've done a couple things at my summer car, usually you could figure most of it out. Now, are you allowed are you allowed to do this while it's a raging fire? Or do you have to make sure it's just like burning embers? Ground cough. What the hell do you do with this? You like shove it inside or? Oh 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 oh! All right. Oh wow. Oh but oh yeah. All the uh, yep. All the grains. Mhm. Mm I just pour all that in there. I don't care. How many? How much coffee can we shove inside here? I want to see it coming out the top, man. I don't know about you guys, but I like my coffee like sludge. All right. I want to chew it. There we go. That, I, I guess it just decided that's enough. So now, do you have like? Is there a legitimate giant chunk of coffee in here, or how's it? How's it work? All right, I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on the fire, just right on the fire, and see what happens. Can you burn alive in this game? Is that a thing that can happen? I just found our friggin' fish trap. <laughs> you gotta teleport it out of the water. Maybe that was because of the update. I have no idea. Let's uh, let's put it back in here. I had good luck just right over here by the uh, by the dock. Now it takes a long time to catch a fish. You understand? Like it, it took a long freaking time. But let me uh, let me just throw it on down here. There we go. And make sure it's open and set. All right, fish trap is set. I don't know if it has to be like close or far or what. How's our uh, how's our coffee coming? Like, do we have do we have coffee yet, or you gotta pour it, or I don't see anything. It all evaporated. Oh! Did it pour in? It just it just looks like water. It says coffee cup, but it looks like a giant lie. Am I allowed to drink it? Oh! Oh, it is coffee. Hold on. I think we got it. I think we just made coffee. It's like really not dark coffee, but it, I think it's just kind of like, you just aim it? Yes! Oh, it is. It's like radioactive sludge. It's just, it's just pond water, but with some coffee grains in it. That was, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I would make coffee this way, but whatever. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth. Oh yeah. I feel like the sausages are high def now. Don't they look better? Doesn't that image look better? Can you grill the sausages? I know you're not supposed to do it on like the Oh, you can! The sausage comes out and everything! I didn't know that! It looks r it looks like fingers. It oh, oh, okay. Alright, I'm sorry. Did we just burn a whole bunch of sausages? Charred sausages. Can you eat the charred sausage? You absolutely cannot. Okay. So I imagine you ha like is this is this cooked or I mean we're allowed to eat it. I imagine you have to wait until it's burned all the way down. Now, can you cook the pizzas and stuff too? I don't know if I'd grill a pizza. I, I don't see why not, but mainly I'm just curious to see if it'll come out of the packaging. Now, the pizza doesn't look like it cooks, so it looks like it's just a sausage. But the macaroons, I, I mean, I doubt this is gonna work either. This is for science, okay, people? We, we're, I'm learning. No, definitely not. Can you put the fire out with your urine? Nope, just seasoning it. We're just seasoning the fire with urine. Gives it that extra hickory flavor. Just getting the sauna in here going. Get this nice and hot. It's getting late, man. The time went by really fast. Oh, let's check the fire over here. Oh, the fire's ready. Okay. So now we should be able to make delectable sausage, I think, without it burning. Hold on. Let's throw that over there. And we'll put... We got tons of sausage for this purpose. I got all kinds of potential sausages. Oh yeah. Now how do you know when it's cooked? Does it turn like a, a lovely golden brown? Does it start splitting a little bit? Does it start squirting you in the eye with its sausage juices? Oh yeah. Oh look at it. That's hot. Grilled sausage. So perfectly. I'm gonna tell you, I'm getting hungry just looking at it. Just picking these fingers right off the grill. <laughs> Little cannibalistic feelings getting stirred up. Realistically, though, it looks it looks uh looks beautiful. Now, what happens if you put one of the pikes on there? Will it burn or because we already grilled all the pikes over here, if you remember. We got a whole bunch of these and we ended up grilling it the old-fashioned way. So what happens if you if you put something that's already been cooked on the fire? Now the fire's not going anymore. It's just these little embers right now. So I'm not really sure what'll happen. Ah! Chopping my summer car logs. One of my favorite pastimes. At least once, one of the logs shoots off into the freaking stratosphere or jumps across the entire universe. The log physics in my summer car are completely realistic, as you can see. Ugh. Is there any greater glory? We're out here in the sauna, 
We got fresh grilled sausages. We got, I mean, it, you know, this. there's not much beer in this case. But we got an extra case of beer outside. The fire's rolling. The penis gauge is going up. Things are looking fantastic. Are we are we able to get a, a little bit of steam going up in here? Now, normally you need it pretty hot to get any steam, but I'm gonna give it a shot just in case. Survey says no, not yet. Ah! Oh crap! I missed it. <laughs> You're supposed to do it from the top, anyway, aren't you? Damn it! What the hell? There it is. I gotta cheat a little bit, man. I am super thirsty in here. We're gonna need a ton of beer in order to survive this heat. Need a ton of beer. I know, I know. First world finish problems. But listen, we're gonna be chewing through beer really fast. I might want to just bathe inside of the river. They'll probably be better on my thirst meter. Oh, yeah. That was a good night of beer and sausage drinking. Holy crap. How are these embers still going? Like... Are they there permanently? I think they're there probably permanently. You know what I mean? Like, as long as you don't save, they just remain there. All right. So, I want to go check out what's going on over at old drunk man's house and see what sort of freaking bag of worms we ended up opening up. Oh, we caught a pike. Already. Usually, you don't catch them that fast. Hold on. Let me, uh, let me grab the old trap over here. We can cook this guy up real quick, too. This could be uh, breakfast right over here. I'm really not that hungry. It's kind of weird. Whatever. Go ahead and uh, open the old trap up. Pluck, pluck our fish. There he is, looking good, looking good. Now we should be able to throw him right on the grill over here. Just cook right up. Let's find out. Just kind of toss him on the grill. Now is he bigger than the other fish? He looks, he looks right around the same size. I don't know if these two are cousins or what. There you go. Go ahead and bake up right there. Yes. I'm drinking a case of beer at like six in the morning. Don't judge me. Maybe the coals stay glowing, but it really doesn't count. I don't know. He's been on there for a while. He's not cooking. I'm just going to leave it there. I'm going to tell you guys, it's been a long time since I've been to Drunk Man's house. Does this have seatbelts? I always forget. No, of course it doesn't. It's a freaking piece of garbage. It's been a long time since I've been to Drunk Man's house. I'm pretty sure his original house is over here somewhere. Now, it looks like it's going to rain outside, too. It's pretty early in the morning. I got the headlights on so that we could see a little bit better. For some reason, the cloud cover just started rolling on in. Like a bad omen or something. So I remember having to juke past this crap. His house wasn't on the right. His house is on the left. I think, isn't it like the wood guy? You know, the guy the guy that wants to order a wood. Not like a dude that's specifically known for his wood. But I'm pretty sure Drunk Man's house is right over here on the left. Yeah, right here, right here. And that's the dip I always hit every freaking time. And then when we would drop him off, he would be like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Let's go check this out. Just got to throw that over there. Of course, the car just stalls. Why wouldn't it? All right, drunk man, did you move back into your old house, or you, is that drunk man's killer axe that he always went after us with? Oh, Jesus. Did someone kill drunk man? I am sorry. I lost everything. It was my fault all. Everyone is better off this way. Oh, crap. Drunk man? Drunk man? Buddy? Drunk man? Do, do any of these open or anything? I don't think any of these buildings actually work. Oh, mother of God. Oh, drunk man. He's gone off somewhere. We're going to have to find him. What do you guys think? Should we continue to investigate just how deep the rabbit hole goes? That's going to be something that we're going to have to do in the next episode of My Supercar. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, and you want to make the YouTube machine happy, feel free to, I don't know, lightly char up the old thumbs up button. Until the next time, stay foxy and much love. <laughs>